Hey everybody, it's Amy. It's Sunday and I have been working on some brown bag journals. I have four birthdays coming up, um, all in the latter part of March and early part of April. So I'm making a bunch of journals and I wanted to share this with you. This is the first paper bag journal that I have made. And you can see that it's a Trader Joe's bag. And the cool thing was with the size that I'm going with, which is 8.5 by 11, because I'm going to be using printer paper for the inside pages, I was able to use up pretty much the entire bag. So that felt good to totally recycle it. And I just had <clears throat> some leftover little scraps. And if you were to do this yourself, um, you could always use the scraps to... Um, beef up the pages a little bit so that they're a little sturdier but what I did was I used cardstock that um, was the same size eight and a half by eleven and I used those to go in between the paper bag part to make this tough and I was gonna try to find a use for the handles because it just seems like you know these are good and sturdy that these could be used for something but I haven't figured that out yet but um, I just wanted to show you this part of it and then what I'm going to do is make a bunch of handmade papers to go inside and they're all going to have a jelly print background so that there's already something there for your friend or your loved one to um, either write over or paint over or attach pictures to or whatever they wanted to do or if you're going to do it for a personal journal you will already have some fun colors and paint backgrounds. So, the second part of this video will basically just be sped up with music and I'm just going to be going through and jelly printing a whole bunch of papers. So I hope you enjoy that and um, I did want to mention that since this is a Trader Joe's bag I looked up online to see where all Trader Joe's is in the United States because I'm pretty sure they're not in every state although it listed quite a few states but I, I'm pretty sure it wasn't all 50. so. Um, if you can find a paper bag that already has like cool prints on it, even better, you know, it's just a bonus. I really enjoyed using this particular bag because it already has some really cool vintage images on it. Um, some things that I might have already chosen as stamps, you know, like a teapot, this um, vintage buggy, and this, you probably have seen this guy before, the flying guy that looks like he's attached to like an airplane. So I'm sorry, I'm, I'm really sniffly today. Um, so of course it's not necessary to um, use a Trader Joe's bag, but I just thought that was a bonus that it has all these neat images and an art journal. You'd have plenty of space to work on. So I'm going to go ahead and get started on the jelly prints and turn on some music and I 